Hi guys. All right, you guys, this is video number two of the new year. And I'm just having breakfast, lunch, whatever. I'm having some toast. Okay. So I know I told you that I would uh, go over my Dior bag and I'm going to, but I have to eat you guys. And I know how much you guys love it when I eat on camera, right? But I just have a little update, you guys. Something weird has occurred, okay? Something really strange. I kind of like this stuff now. When Keith and I did the challenge, I was like, it's terrible. It's horrible. This one's less horrible. This one's really horrible. I like this now. I kind of thought I might be able to grow to love it. I'm not going to say love, but I'm kind of getting addicted to it. <laughs> You guys, I just had to come on here and tell you, here's my toast. It has butter on it. That's not a lot of Marmite. Maybe there's more on there than it should be. But anyway, I kind of dig it. I really do. My toast is kind of burned. I always burn my toast. I burn everything. But you guys, okay. So we just tried it on dry toast. So everybody was saying, you know, put butter on it and then put a thin layer. So that's what I've done. And I kind of dig it. I don't, I mean, Keith will not try it again. I was like, try it with butter. He's not gonna go there, but instead of having peanut butter and jelly like I usually do, or just peanut butter or peanut butter and honey, I've been going for the Marmite. Now, I haven't given the ve Vegemite another shot. I might. I just don't think I'm gonna like it. But I kinda like this now. Mm -hmm. Okay. It has more of a creamy consistency. It's salty. You know what I think? The way I can equate it. Okay, some people cannot stand feta cheese. Of course, I grew up eating it, but the more you eat it, the more you like it. Mm-hmm. It's good! <laughs> so, anyway. I'll spare you while I eat all my toast, but I've been eating it. I've been enjoying it. It's rich in vitamin B. It's a vegan spread. It says put the oomph in your breakfast, and I don't know. Wake up your taste buds, and I'm, I'm liking this stuff, you guys. Who would have thought it back during the vlogmas, you know? So it's raining today. I don't know if you can tell by my background, but it's it's raining pretty bad. And uh, supposed to get down to like 16 degrees. Right now it's about 40. So I might have to go out and get a few things before it freezes over. Um, but this morning, Keith and I went and got our booster. I feel fine. I haven't checked on him. He went back to work. Because you guys, it's so very important. And I just got a phone call from my sister. She's sick again, so. Anyway, you guys, get boosted, <laughs> get boosted. Okay. I'm gonna eat my Marmite toast. I just wanted to share that with you guys. It's so funny because I just didn't think I was ever gonna like it, but I, I really do like it. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish my toast. Then we're gonna go upstairs. I do have an unboxing, as you can see from the thumbnail. It's something that I've had for a while and I just haven't even had a chance to open up the box, honestly. So I'm gonna throw it in there with this Dior 
uh, video and I'll show you what all fits inside and realistically, you know, what I would put inside of it. So I'll be back in a bit. Okay guys, I'm up here in my office and if the angles look different, it's because I'm using a mini uh, tripod. Okay, I was just going to go over a few things with you guys before we get started. So today, I got up pretty early, early for me, and got ready and put on a bit of makeup, not much, um, besides a red lip. And I was kind of in a rush. I forgot to put this on. Okay, so the other day I picked this up. And this is the e.l.f. Putty Primer Applicator. I got it at Walmart. I think it was like five bucks. I can tell you guys, it's noon and my makeup's already coming off. This is the best primer, the poreless primer. Now I watched a video, I don't know if you guys watch, uh, what's her name? Tammy's Ageless Beauty. You know, she's really good at makeup. She's really, I like to watch her. And she uses this in her T-zone in a different primer around her face. I don't do all that stuff, but anyway. My point is, you guys, this is fantastic, and today's the first day I forgot to put it on, and I can already tell a difference. My makeup is not gonna make it past two o'clock. <laughs> so, I can put this on, prime my face, kinda let it set, and then put my, I just use a tiny bit of foundation, put my foundation on, and a little spritz of the, uh, what am I trying to say? You know, the, um, uh, that keeps your makeup on. Anyway, you guys. <laughs> I should totally edit this out, right? Okay. Anyway, if you use this e.l.f. primer, and there's other kinds other than just poreless putty primer, there's like different kinds, and get this brush, it's fantastic. And I was just gonna say, I went through all that just to say, that my makeup is so much different. Like it, it's already wanting to come off, okay? It's already coming, melting off. All right, so I'll list it below. This is one of the finds that I found in my e.l.f. advent calendar and I've been listing them in the description box as long as they're available. They also have a 12 day advent calendar. That way you can try some products. All right, you guys, let's get into this, this box because I've had it forever, and uh, I just, I just have been too busy. Okay, so this is from Nordstrom. I ordered, the first thing I ordered, yes, more headbands. Jane, Jane Church is the cause of all these headbands. I'm gonna list her, um, channel below you guys go in watch Jane and subscribe so what I liked about this one number one I love pearls but it's a double so when I have my hair up isn't that cute I also found some really cute ones on Etsy that I'll link for you guys that are just adorable okay so look how cute oh my gosh so so cute but I like to wear a headband usually kind of when I have my hair pulled up but I just thought this was really pretty and I'll link it below I think it was it was cheap you guys it wasn't very much I don't see the price they don't ever put the price on these these sheets but anyway I'll link it below and also some super cute ones from Etsy all right so this is something that I've wanted for a long time and I found it on sale and it is from coach not from the coach outlet but from Nordstrom but it's coach Oh my gosh, I can't even make sense of myself today. <laughs> so I had a subscriber say to me, what is the difference between Coach and Coach Outlet? Well, some Coach items from the actual boutique make it to the outlets and they're, you know, like from the regular Coach store, but Coach Outlet items, a lot of those are cheaper made and you can tell they're outlet items and they're not quite the quality, so. Anyway, but I don't have a problem with it if it's something I really like. 
I just get it. But anyway, this is something I've wanted for a while and I'm super excited. It is the Coach Glove Tan Leather. I can't even think of the name of this bag. I don't even have my phone up here. You guys, I'm having a really hard time getting back into this, but I'll link it, okay? No worries. <sighs> okay, so it's really packaged nice, unlike my Burberry coat. You guys, while I'm opening this, my Burberry coat, I still don't have my refund number two but I called today and they said I would have it by next week. Okay. So this is the swinger. It's the swinger with the chain. Okay. Let me just get this pulled off of it. And of course it's in my all time favorite color that coach does just this chalk, my all time favorite. Anything that they do in chalk, I'm, I'm like here for it, okay? My scissors are gone. I'm a hot mess. But let me try to <laughs> pull all this off and show you guys. Okay, now I know I said, you know, I'm not going to be getting a lot of bags this year. I am not talking about Coach and cheaper bags, especially when I can find deals like this for half off. So don't come for me because I'm gonna buy really good deals when I find them. I'm talking about expensive bags. I totally did not feel like I was gonna get a bag at Christmas. I didn't expect it. And honestly, I don't really have much on my radar right now except the soft trunk clutch, the one like Dale has. Oh my goodness. Oh, okay. What I like about this one, this one is the one with the chain. So you get the adjustable strap, super soft. This will be great for the beach or any kind of vacation where you don't want to be, you know, bothered with a really big bag. But I have looked at this for quite a while and I really, really like it. It's just so simple. So you can, so you can do it like this. Let me pull this off. Oh. I love this bag. And I love the opening. You can like that or, and then just the zipper. So, wow, they put a lot, here's the coach dust bag. They put a lot of stuff in here, but this is a great little, you know, bag for, I like this color all year around. So, you know, you can do it like this, but I really think this is cute like this. Okay. There's the, the coach. So you can just, carry it like this and then you also have this option and this is what I I really what when I saw this I'm like that is so cool so I could probably even use this on other bags you can put both of them on at the same time or for a little going out bag you can take this off how cute is this I just love it I don't think, to be honest with you, well, I don't know, I might. That's kind of cute like that. You can wear it crossbody because it is adjustable and it looks very, it looks really like, you know, there's a lot of adjustments there. So whatever size you are, you could probably make it work. But anyway, you guys, I love the antique uh, gold hardware on this. So pretty. And just like Chanel, it does have the leather bits, not, not, it's not weaved, but each link here has the leather bit. I think it's kind of unusual. So I think I might wear like this crossbody, but then as a shoulder bag or a more casual crossbody bag, I would take this off. 
But for date night, we're just a dressier look. Take off the long strap. And again, what's so great is you can use these straps with other bags. But I love this. So I've been looking at this bag for a long time. And when I saw this extra strap, I'm like, that is so cute. It's just so cute. Look at that. That's probably, honestly, I probably use it like this a lot because it's that really cute size when you're going out, if you're going out with friends or whatever, you don't need too much. So it's the Swinger, is it the Swinger 20? I think so, the bigger Swinger. <laughs> okay, but anyway, so cute. And I've had it for a while, would it not be cute with a outfit on with this double row beaded headband? I'm so obsessed with headbands, I told Jane Thank you so much. Like I needed another obsession, right? Okay. <laughs> okay, so anyway, I have had this for a while. I had it before Christmas and I just honestly have not had time to mess with anything up here. All right, so let me just say another thing. Here's the giveaway, you guys, second chances. And I'm going to cut it off. Today's Thursday. I'm going to cut it off Friday. So I'll cut it off at that point. If I say you're entered, you're entered. I try to uh, let you guys know. All right, guys. So today's bag of the day is my Chanel Boy. I love this bag so much. It holds so much. The chain does not get caught up in my long hair. No, it does not. I have no problems with this. Even when my hair was super long, I didn't have a problem. Other people do. I don't know why. My hair just does not get tangled up in it. I wear it crossbody. I did today. I've got her packed. It's pouring down raining and I didn't worry about her. So that's my bag of the day. I'll pull some things out of that bag and put into my Dior bag. I'm also going to run in my office and get a few other things to show you what all fits and also how realistically I will pack my Lady Dior. You guys, I can't help myself. <laughs> so beautiful, so beautiful. I never thought I would have this bag. Like, I thought I might get one, you know, one from Fashion File, which there's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> I always kind of had it on my radar, but it wasn't like top of the list. I am so in love with this freaking bag. Yes, I love it. Mm. Okay. So I just store her in my closet next to my Almas. So I'm going to take this gorgeous strap off. And what I love about the strap, it's so, it's wide and it's so comfortable crossbody. So I guess, you know, that will give it more of a casual look. I just love the initials. There were all kinds of charms to choose from. And never say never because I used to say, I, I don't like those charms. I think it cheapens it, but no, it personalizes it. And this, gold to me I uh, it looks more like a champagne gold it's not like a bright gold it looks more like a champagne gold which is absolutely fantastic with this uh, bronze metallic bag yes and the charm oh so pretty so pretty okay so I've carried it twice already and I'll probably carry it this weekend depending on the weather because Saturday Keith and I are going to Chattanooga. We have a few things to do. We're going to go to a nice Greek restaurant and I will carry this bag if it's not pouring. Okay, so I will use this bag more for special occasions. So I will show you what I will put in it, what I will pack in it, and it holds a good bit, you guys. I mean, it doesn't hold a lot, but it holds enough. So I'm just gonna take things out of this boy bag. Now, so right now, 
I have my uh, Louis Vuitton toiletry uh, 19, 15, okay? And let's see, I haven't even tried to put it in there, so let's just see if it'll fit. And it will, it will. But it takes up a lot of space in there, but you could put all your catch-all stuff in there, your lipstick. I have my Chanel mirror inside the toiletry 15. So everything extra that I need, you know, in my bag can go in my toiletry 15. So that's great and I don't have to force it. It will go in there very easily. Now on this bag, it has a front little pocket here and in the back it has a zip pocket, okay. So, yeah, so this will go in there, and I might use it like that, and I might not. So, that's good to know, right? What do I need? What do I have to have? So, if I'm going somewhere with Keith, you know, I don't have to have my keys. This is the four-ring key holder that Winnie B. L. V. ever so generously gifted me for Christmas. I need to get a longer ring, I think, um, from Dress Up Your Purse. So it can hang long like that. So I can, cause it's a little, okay. <laughs> okay, but anyway, I'll put them in there if I were going somewhere myself, but if I'm with Keith, I won't, I don't carry keys. Okay, so yeah, that fits in there very easily. Right down there at the bottom. Mm -hmm. Bam, okay. What else? What else? Okay, so yeah, I need a wallet. So right now, I'm using my Tory Burch. Oh, I love this, you guys. I will link it. And now YSL makes one very similar to this one because it's got all these card holders and it has this zip and then I have some insurance cards in there. You guys, I had the one from the men's line. Oh, uh, the Louis Vuitton one and I sold it because I like this better and I also have a blue one but anyway yeah I have to have a wallet so that goes in there bam and see all that room at the top still have some room at the top now I normally carry some kind of a little pouch with me um, here's one from Dress Up Your Purse. I love this thing, you guys. You guys. If you don't have any of these little pouches from Dress Up Your Purse, you have to get some. I'm going to try to get some from Melody, maybe for a giveaway for 5000 I know I'm doing the mirror. If I ever get there, you guys. Okay? <laughs> Do you guys want the mirror or not? But anyway, yeah. So I want to order the Kiragami, this... She has that metallic uh, mermaid, those mermaid colors, but look at how beautiful. So metallics and metallics, gold and bronze. So if I need something just to throw change in or whatever, even a little tiny small lipstick, I could, I could pop it in there. See, bam, it is right at the top. And um, I actually have room for a few more things, but look, no stress. Let's do the Autumn Beckman spin. I hope by now she's got a patent on this, on this. You guys, forgive me. I'm not gonna do a lot of editing, so you're gonna see me raw, okay? Autumn Beckman spin, there you go. But I could put more things in there. Oh, okay, so when I carry a mask, I have, I have gotten, I copied Andrea's idea, and I don't have one in here, but let's just pretend that this is my little Chanel, um, <laughs> any kind of little bag like this or this or whatever to put your mask in because you don't want to just throw a used mask down in your bag let's just let's just put it in here okay so yeah and I usually have several masks and I like the reusable ones like that so that goes in there here we are I mean, this little thing, it's its very user-friendly, very user-friendly. Now, 
Okay, here's a pair of Sunnies, and I always use a soft case. This isn't the right soft case, but who cares? Okay, this will work. Now with sunglasses, that's not really anything that matters. Of course, this will work. It's right at the top. Look at that. <gasps> wow. This is great. Look, it's just packed. I could probably even squeeze something else right there <laughs> if I need to. So, yeah, you guys, this is a wonderful little bag. Okay, here's my little itty bitty baby Kirigami with my <laughs> art cards. Let's try it. This is not a realistic packing, but hey, you know, for the video. Is this going in? Let's see. Maybe if I pull out the sunglasses and try to squeeze it in there. Yep. And then the sunglasses go right back in there. See, it's in there. Put the sunglasses in there. Bam, guys. I mean, this is this is happening, okay? This is this is great. I can put all that stuff in there and it doesn't really feel that heavy. <gasps> Really? How versatile. How usable and user friendly. Wow. This little bag, this little bag packs a punch. You can put a lot of stuff in it. Now, realistically, if I were going out with Keith, okay, just say I'm using my little uh, Chanel wallet or my card holder, either one, but let's do this one because it's bigger. I always have a wallet with the ID on me and insurance cards, okay? So just plop it in there. A lot of times with a smaller bag, I will use my Daisy Rose uh, key clay. You guys, I'm gonna look. I haven't looked in a long time. This is my favorite. I had the Louis Vuitton one and sold it. I really regret that, but no, I didn't sell it. I sent it back, that's right. I wish I would have exchanged it. But anyway, my the seaming was coming undone, so that's why I sent it back. But anyway, it's full of change and a few dollars. So I, I like to carry something like this, smaller than this, even though we know this fits. And I can just pop a little lipstick in there and then my change or whatever and have a lot more room. My Red Elf lipstick, bam what I'm wearing today. It's a really sexy red. Okay, just plop that beside my Chanel wallet. My little Chanel double facet mirror that I'm trying to give away. I'm trying to give you guys one, but apparently I don't think you guys want it because it's sitting over there. But anyway, yeah, so this will go in there. So, you know, I don't freshen up my makeup much during the day. I do my lipstick. So I might pop this mirror in the very front little pocket that I showed you guys. Yeah. Okay, you still have all that room. Um, I'll go ahead and throw my keys in there. No, I'm not, because let's just pretend I'm on date night, so I'm not gonna do that. I'll have a mask and a little pouch. And really, on date night, honestly, that's probably about all I would take. So I have all this space. I just need a lipstick, a mirror, a little, you know, catch-all case and a wallet with lots of room to spare, you guys. Lots of room to spare. It holds a lot. For the size, it is very usable and, I mean, for me, it's not an everyday bag because my life is so casual. I mean, most days during the week, I'm home. I'm covered in paint. Uh, if I go to the gallery, I just have on something like I have now. I might carry something like this with me from time to time just, just to, you know, get her out, <laughs> get her off the shelf. But it's a great, great bag. I love these, uh, sh uh, not Chanel, these fingerless cashmere gloves that I get um, from Nordstrom. So a lot of times I do like to bring my gloves with me because, um, I don't know, my hands get cold. So yeah, they just pop in there. So that's all of my necessities, you guys. I mean, this bag, you know, I am surprised because if you had asked me 
before I did all this, does this bag carry all of your necessities and then some? I would say it carries your necessities, but your necessities, but not more. You know what I'm saying? I just, I'm really surprised. Wow, you guys, wow. I just love it. So, look at this. How cute is this? See? I mean, it works. I've got on some kind of leggings, flurry boot cut leggings from Walmart, an Amazon top. This is like my uniform. And this gorgeous bag. Look at it. It works, you guys. Actually, it works really well casual, doesn't it? Maybe I'll, you know what, honestly, honestly, after today's video, I really think I'm going to get a lot more use out of this bag than I thought because I told Keith, this is a special occasion bag. I have no problem with special occasion bags because they're so special. You break them out when something special is going on. How many times am I going to say special? But anyway, <laughs> I'm probably going to use this bad boy more than I was thinking because it carries so much more than I thought. I am so pleasantly surprised and I love it. Anyway, you guys have a wonderful day. I will see you back on Saturday. Love you guys. Or wait, I'll see. Let me start over. Okay guys, so that's all I have for you today and I will see you guys back on Monday with a Chattanooga vlog. Peace out guys.